Every time a signal is scaled by filter coefficients, a small amount of error is introduced into the system. This error is caused by the inevitable rounding of the finite length registers that store the filter coefficients. <clears throat> As the number of delays and filter coefficients increases, the amount of error also increases. In this lecture, we discuss how to reduce this error by implementing large filters as a set of smaller filters with low levels of error. Digital filters can typically be represented as a ratio of polynomials. Here, capital N corresponds to the number of delays in the system, and capital N is called the order of the filter. So, a filter with two delays is called a second order filter. To minimize the error of higher order filters, we can reorganize the filter coefficients to create a set of second order or first order filters. We can organize these second order filters in two ways, cascaded or serial filters, as well as parallel filters. If we create a cascade of second order filters, we will need n over 2 filters to implement our larger filter. When we cascade filters, we will multiply the frequency responses of all the subfilters together. Therefore, we want to rewrite our filter equation as the product of a set of poles and zeros. To separate the poles and zeros, we must first multiply the top and bottom by z to the n to, factor, to facilitate factoring. We then factor a sub zero out of the numerator so that all zeros will have the form z minus c sub i. Once we have the poles and zeros in this form, we want to pair the poles and zeros for every subfilter in such a way that all filter coefficients will be real. So, if any poles and zeros are complex, they must be paired with their complex conjugate. So, z sub k and z sub l must be complex conjugates, and p sub m and p sub n must be complex conjugates for every set of complex poles and zeros. Once we have finished pairing all the complex sets together, we can then use any set of real coefficients together in our numerator or the denominator. If we arrange our second order filters in a parallel configuration, we will again need n over 2 subfilters to implement our larger filter. When we place filters in parallel, we must add the frequency responses of all the filters together. Therefore, we use partial fraction expansion to rewrite our filter equation as a sum of residuals and poles. Once we have the poles and residuals in this form, we want to pair the poles and residuals for every subfilter in such a way that all filter coefficients will be real. So, if any poles are, or residuals are complex, then for the residuals b sub k and b sub l must be complex conjugates, and p sub k and p sub l must be complex conjugates for the poles. Once we have paired all the complex poles and residuals, we can create pairs with any set of real coefficients.